And hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how to get ready for Beastmas as early game, mid game and also late game. Yes, so before the video does start though, make sure to like and subscribe as we're trying to hit 500 likes on this video. But yeah, now let's actually get to it. So first let's talk about how to get ready for Beastmas as early game, but it's kind of like, uh, you know, mid game as well. So yeah, so early game slash mid game, how to get ready for it. So basically just play the game normally quite a lot really that's why i would recommend complete all the quests every quest you can all the quests before you know the what is the business here so complete all the npc quests before business because that's gonna definitely give you an advantage because you're gonna you know have more items and bees and everything you know if you buy more hive slots literally just level up your hive as much as you can try and aim to get ssa if you can as well that would be very good but if not Diamond Amulet is the right too, and you know, because passives are definitely very good for Beesmas, so make sure to get that if you don't have it yet. But I'm pretty sure Beesmas is going to help you a lot anyway, even if you're early game and late game. Not uh, not late game, but well, obviously, yeah, Beesmas is going to help. But basically, it's definitely going to help you to get to the SSA because you know, there's a. I'm pretty sure there's like a higher chance or something to get bees gifted by fruit or something i don't know but yeah that's definitely gonna help a lot since you get loads of free stuff anyway but yeah it would be, it would be quite nice to get it before anyway because then you'll be like way more prepared and everything okay but now let's get to late game so for late game doing puffs is actually a very good thing even maybe if you're mid game i'm not sure really what you could class mid game as maybe like have an ssa maybe but not really but doing puffs is actually a very very good way to get ready for business as puff shrooms actually do drop loads of loot like all different types of loot i'm talking like glitter field dice bitter berries neon berries you know uh whatever the other things are as well glue and everything yeah those things are actually very useful to do so make sure to do puffs a lot as much as you can and if you don't have anyone to do puffs with make sure to join my discord server as let's actually try and get some puff rooms running up there you can, you guys can team up with each other and do puffs and everything so yeah and do you know lf looking for puffs i guess but yeah so now back to the video so yeah another thing you could do to get ready is really just to make as much honey as possible you know macaron if you can obviously because i'm pretty sure I'm not sure how pricey the new items will be. Definitely, it will definitely be a good thing to get as much honey as you can from just, you know, even boosting would be very good for you guys. Whatever color you are, white, you know, red, blue, whatever, just just boost as much as you can if you can't macro and if you can macro just macro then yeah and also make sure to claim all your dispensers and kill all your bosses such as you know stump snail king beetle and tunnel bear every day every time they spawn make sure to do that as you get quite good loot from them too and you're going to be even more ready for business than you were before without doing anything and just waiting for it so yeah make sure to do all of those things and yeah so i hope you guys have enjoyed and this has helped you quite a bit but yeah yeah, thank you so much for watching and bye